Welcome back trainers and we're going to be testing out Celebi with Magical Leaf and only one charge move. Now the reason why we're not going to be buying a secondary one on this is because I'm waiting to see if we can elite TM our other Celebis later down the line. So we can just, you know, not, you know, avoid that. I don't want to really invest in this one here. And we're also going to be able to do 20 sets per day as opposed to five. So that's a pretty big jump. You should be able to rise up. I was doing more battles and more battles. I was like, what's going on? Why is it taking so long? And uh, I realized, oh yeah, we have those extra battles. I'll just stop now and do them later. Well, actually, wait a minute. No, I wasn't even able to finish. I just stopped. I just didn't keep going. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what happens when we have these events here. I should have done them last night or something like that. But anyways, we're also going to be testing out Shadow Typhlosion. I was able to evolve several of these during the event so we can have the blast burn if you were not aware there was many community day pokemon that you could evolve for the johto region to receive the community day move and we did that with all the starters and i think that's about it i think we evolved to tyranitar but it wasn't shadow we already got all those ready to go what about the event i'm sure you want to hear my thoughts on that well we'll talk about that here in a minute first let's talk about celebi with the magical leaf it's it's okay uh, i enjoyed it you're gonna see the gameplay it actually did stuff it worked, especially with one charge move, Psychic. Now, it does have Seed Bomb, which is going to be a lot more uh, spammable, right? But it's also going to be single-typed. I wanted a little bit of coverage here just because. Uh, but, of course, if you do have two charge moves, you're going to be looking a lot better, obviously, right? So, all in all, it, it was fun. Really, I got, I'm not going to really say it was horrible, it was bad, I don't like it. It did what it needed to do, and you're going to see what happened here. All right, so we got a pretty long video here. Make sure you give this one a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. If we could, that'd be great. And let's talk about the event. All right, now I wanted to show you all my stuff. Like We're going to go more in depth. Um, but I don't know, like just reading around, I'll just you know tell you my thoughts. I'm not going to give you 100% here. But reading around online, you know, if you're thinking, well, if you go on Twitter, you're just going to find only complaints. This is true, but you get to hear people's thoughts. So... You know, they thought they were saying the shiny rates were low, and I have to agree. I know I don't really care if I get shinies or not, too many of those, but they were pretty low, and it was pretty bad for that. You know, I would have loved to get a Fanfy shiny. You know, I pay, paid this money, uh, but, you know, it's just Niantic. But again, if we make these shinies super, super common, you're going to have a thousand. They're not going to feel special anymore. But you're right. You, know, you can't argue with the people. You want the shinies, you, you want the shinies. I personally got very little we'll, we'll go over that we'll talk about it in another video but if you watch my live stream you can see them there too i suppose and it was a pretty clutch ending there folks and speaking of that ending what i was trying to do is find that last boss but apparently i needed to get the stardust first before i actually found the boss uh, for these battles here and i was looking on twitter again and people were saying that they couldn't find it they were getting stuck on certain ones and people even in city said i couldn't find it either like i was getting stuck and i got st stops everywhere so good to know that i was not the only one in that situation where it was difficult but I, you know honestly if i would have not stopped and kept on going around and grinding i could have found it but it was it's, it felt like a really rushy type of deal <sighs> Why does everybody message me right when I'm editing? I mean, I swear, man, I could go for seven hours and then as soon as I start editing, messages roll in. I was about to stop recording, but let's just keep it rolling. It's late and I just want to get this video done. <laughs> All right, so I'm recording it now, but I'm going to upload it in the morning. So yeah, there was a lot of stuff crammed in there. Why? Like I enjoyed all that stuff, but make it at least two days. Make it a weekend. I mean... If you wanted to do that special non-event day that we're going to have, then start it on Friday, and then go Saturday, and then do it on Sunday for that thing. But as far as all the things to do, yeah, it was a, it was a little overwhelming. Uh, I was trying to do it with <laughs> on my son's account too, but uh, I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm just going to do the trading, and we'll take care of the research in, I don't know, 10 years, right? <laughs> so it definitely needed more time. One day felt crammed. I don't even know, maybe even 24 hours for crying out loud. So people can just sit at home and just try to finish it off after they're, you know, been grinding all day because it is exhausting if you're out there on foot, obviously. Even if you're kind of driving around, kind of gets tired too. All right. 
And no, I'm not some lazy person. Obviously, you guys know I, I'm a very athletic. So anyway, that's really off topic. Other than that, I was just grinding out those Heracross. I spent too much money on those raids. And I still haven't gotten a 100 or a Shiny. Now, I'm not going to go complain. It's my own fault, again, for putting in the raid passes, like putting in a coin into that slot machine. You're just, you know, nobody's forcing you to keep on gambling. So it would be nice, but we didn't get it. Hey, it is what it is. But uh, there's my quick thoughts on it. We'll get more in depth than that. Let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. We're met with a Steelix with our Skarmory. We're swapping into Umbreon, and uh, we're actually going to be switching out the team. And Typhlosion will be making an entrance in a little bit here, kind of like a grand finale. And I'm going to have to say... It was fun to use, for sure. You're going to see some clutch wins. Just holding on by an edge, just by a sliver of health. Getting off blast burns and taking wins, it's awesome. So the Sylvie, as you can see, the gameplay here, it's actually doing things. It was good. And uh, this is just with one charge move with Psychic. So hey, <laughs> take it as it is. And like I said, I'm not I'm not about to power this one up. All right, we already got two, one shiny. If we can elite TM it soon, then I'm just going to do it with my shiny. Simple as that. Celebi, honestly, at the end of the day, it's not that great, okay? So it's not worth investing $100,000 for a secondary move for one video. I got to be smarter about my Stardust now, investing in things and just using them for like half a day, a couple of battles, a couple of sets, and never seeing them again. So anyways, there's the explanation. Celebi shielding up the crunch because, well, super effective. Magical Leaf is fun to look at, right? And I had fun using it. It was never like, ah, oh, this thing sucks. Oh, I don't like using it. It was, you know, it has its moments where it's just going to get walled just like any other Pokemon. But all in all, I, I was quite satisfied with the gameplay of it. So bring it in the Skarmory here. No, this was not from today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that lucky to get no shiny Skarmory, even though I picked the freaking silver version. Are you kidding me? Um, this came from my son's account because, of course, when he first started an account, guess what? He got a shiny Pidgey day one. And it's like, day after that, three more Shinies events. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Today, he didn't get many because I wasn't really paying attention to it. But I just transferred them over to my accounts. Like, what the hell, man? Do you just make new accounts? And then just pfft, baby accounts get Shinies to get them hooked? All right? <laughs> Anyways. Let's see what we're going to be met with in Eridos for the next battle here. Let's get it. What do we have in the back? Of course, we have the Umbreon because there's a bug up front. Guys, come on. It's all real. You know what's funny? The fact that they actually bring it up is, one, going to bring more attention to it, and it already it just makes them look more guilty. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm proud of all of you. you. You you all are standing strong. You understand. It's like, yeah, this, no, 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 no. I, uh -uh. No, we're not stupid. You're just going to flat out lie. Yeah. Anyways, we set our piece on that. Um, I Honestly, I feel like I don't really need to talk about it too much anymore because, and I know I'm talking about it now, but I'm just explaining it's just, I feel, it feels nice to know that they had to make that statement. And it's like, and you had to lie about it? Like, okay. Uh, but we'll just leave it at that and get back into the commentary. So they're bringing their Eridos in here. We're going to go for the foul play and uh, just do as much damage as we can. Now, we don't want to swap here because, well, if we're bringing Skarmory, they're going to swap as well. So we're just going to let it go down with the ship here, right? No problem. Getting to one more foul play before we do go down here. Any damage is good for me. Uh, Celebi obviously doesn't want to see it because Magical Leaf. But we make that swap. They swap into Azumarill. And this is what you've been waiting for, right? Exactly. We want to see how good is it up against one of the most commonly used water types, Azumarill, here. So let's go. Now you can take an Ice Beam. Just a little heads up. And you will be comfortable to survive. Um, so just uh, see if I actually... I think I let it go here because what I want to do is go in with Skarmory after this. So... Yeah, we'll let this Ice Beam go. There you go. Look at that. Comfortable to take it. Getting to a Psychic. Eridos is going to have to shield this because it's super effective. Sylvie, so look at it. There you go. This is why I wasn't disappointed. It actually is pretty good. Now, think about if we had Seed Bomb. It's going to be able to pull that uh, Azumarill battle a lot better. <laughs> Instead of building all the way up to Psychic, it can just go super effective Seed Bomb. And, uh, well, you're looking good, right? Anyways, up against this Eridos here. I shield it up because I'm not trying to play around this... This game, uh, <laughs> you know, next thing you know, it's a Mega Horn. It's like, it takes me out. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's massively resisted, but who, who knows the lag? I actually got a good example for you. Um, you be the judge if it's 
coincidental lag at the perfect time when I was about to take the win, or the or somebody did something. Anyway, we're swapping into Quaggy here. We're going to be swapping up the teams a little bit, but the main focus is obviously Celebi, and then we'll be seeing that Typhlosion soon enough. So uh, in comes the Skarmory here. Yet yeah, the best bet was just to let it go. I go in here and farm up that... Uh, to my surprise, uh, never mind, this is not the battle. There was a battle I did where they kept going acrobatics, and it was like, my gosh, it's actually starting to add up. So we're not going to hit any bubbles. The reason why we do that is so we can uh, not waste any space to gain more energy. Therefore, we're doing damage at least with the charge move, but not enough to take them out. But then we're going to give ourselves space to gain that energy right back. So they bring in the lantern here. We're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, celebrate it up and magic leave them out of here the animation is pretty stinking cool gotta say in comes the jump bluff here and well acrobatics is going to take us out so we're going to shield that up we got a skarm so why are you shielding that out us <laughs> let's just see let's just see going for a psychic they're shielding it up swapping into our skarm immediately going for but they got that pseudo so now what i think we're in a little bit of trouble so we can still take them out uh we're still able to win here i'm just joking all right it's still it's still easy money so we let this rock slide go, build up to the Brave Bird, and then we should be able to just farm down the Jump Bluff. We're not able to take them out quite yet. All right, there we go. Can we take this win? I. This is a good one. This is a very close one here. So they bait me. Okay, who's going to get to the charge move first? And Celebi's getting to it. Psychic taking the win. And that was a close one there. Let's get it. All right, moving on to our next opponent. Now watch what happens. We put Skarmory in the back. I didn't see a freaking one grass lead. And I was like, watch, watch. As soon as we put Skarmory in the back, we're going to get that grass. The up exactly with the quack. You got to love it. No algorithm, Niantic. You know, no algorithm. How do you just lie? <laughs> well, why am I even asking that? They do it every, every time they put out notes. Anyway. So we're going to be swapping into our Celebi here up against their Lantern. This is good. This is good. Very good. Hydro Pump. It's a big hard-hitting move, but we're grass, so looking good. Now, what do you want? Confu yeah, I mean, I feel like Confusion is going to be a little bit better here. Eh, actually, maybe not. Well, in this case, obviously, up against Eridos. I'm talking all-around meta. Hmm. Johto Cup? I don't know. Maybe Magical Leaf. But anyways, we swap back in, and we're looking good. And uh, taking the win there. So this thing is actually fun for sure to use. Uh, just took a couple of power-ups, no problem at all. And we're good to go for the Great League. Next battle, we're met with a Shadow Tyranitar. All right, got the steel in the back and rock in the front. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go ahead and go for a bait. We're getting a shield out of them. Now, Shadow Tyranitar is squishier than anything else, right? Other than like a Carvana. Uh, so Stone Age is going to be pretty much good enough. It wouldn't KO'd that first one. This might do it. And they shielded up. Double shielding sounds good to me. I think we're actually going to... Not think. We're going to let this go. We don't want to use both of our shields yet. Bring it in the Celebi to farm them down. Looking good. And just watch. This is rock, paper, scissors. I mean, that's why I left this in here. Okay. It has nothing to do with the trainer's skill level at all. Right? Good game to my opponent. It's just, you know, oops, rock, paper, scissors, eSport. No, it's not. Next battle, we're met with a Politoed Shadow. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and go for the Stone Edge here. Obviously, Earthquake's going to do more, but you we're going to get a shield out of him. That thing is, eh, I wouldn't say it's really squishy. Politoed's got some sort of girth to it, but we're going to let it go. It's doing a lot of damage with that Blizzard getting to the Stone Edge. I think we shield this up because we want, oh, never mind. Thought we were going to shield it up to get a shield out of them. Yeah, we wanted that. <laughs> we wanted that matchup with the Sylvia. Like, yeah, magical leave. Let's do this damage to the Shadow Politoed. They swap into a Jump Bluff. We bring... I think this is the Acrobatics. Yep, this is the one I was talking about. So, uh, me thinking, yeah, I'm going to keep farming. Now, we're going to have to throw energy, not tap on any of it. Uh, we hit a couple of bubbles. We, we leave some space for farm here. And right about there. Yep, perfect. And now we're going to be able to farm up. They're going to throw another one, though, which is okay. We're going to come out of this with very low energy, or very low health, sorry. And uh, we're going to be able to... Oh, they immediately... What was that? Did they bring in a mad cargo trying to snipe me with that incinerate? Get out of here. All right, bringing it in the Celebi. Folks, do you think we can pull this one off? I don't know. Let's see what happens. They shield it up. 
Okay, we got the Skarmory in the back. This Celebi needs to hold it down, otherwise we're done for. Can we get to another Psychic? One, two, three, four, we're getting to it. Are we going to be able to pull this one off? I think this is going to be a close one. Taking out the Mag Cargo. In comes Politoed. And they farm us up. No. Uh, you know, man, it was, a, it was a fun run. Maybe we can shield this up and they don't have two. Maybe we can get to it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, we can. Unfortunately not. And they're taking the win there. That's a good game. And let's keep it moving. All right, Typhlosion time. You ready for this? Okay, let's go. So we power it up. And I won't uh, sit here all day with the TMs and that mechanic. Oh, gosh. It took forever to get those moves for whatever reason. So we're off with Blast Burn. Solar Beam and, of course, Incinerate. Let's get it. Now, this is the battle I was talking about. I want you to be the judge as to what happened at the end. You know, people that don't like me, obviously, they're going to go straight to the, th the fact of saying, Oh, it was really lagged. It froze for me, too. I'll, I'll... All right, whatever. You you tell me. It hasn't done this one time. Mm -hmm. I don't really see this too often unless somebody is self-doing it. I get. I guess once in a while you can get that double lag, double like stop for both people. I'm not buying it anymore. I do believe there's some sort of exploit going on that's still uh, viable. You just watch what happens. All right, so we're looking good here, right? It's actually kind of getting interesting. I shield up stupid things here. So shielding that up, eh, I guess that's not done. We just want to win the matchup. Come out of this with energy, right? Going for the blast burn, taking out that meganium, and they got a centaquill in the back. Or Cinta <laughs> Quillfish. I was thinking Qu <laughs> All right, so here we go. How's this gonna work, right? So we bring in this. We use our shield. There's a freaking fell stinger. All right. They raise their attack. We swap into our quillfish. Ironically, crazy. We have one too, right? Yeah, it's weird. That's weird. The game just does that. So we're gonna go ahead and go for an aqua tail here because it's squishy. Obviously, they're almost done. And let's see, we're shieldless, so what are they going to do? Go for another Fell Stinger. Okay. What's going to happen? Going for an Aqua Tail here. Let's see it. It's starting to lag at the top for some reason. Okay. All right. And here we go. This is about where it uh, ends. They wouldn't have been able to take us out with Aqua Tail. And then the Celebi would have came in and uh, magic leafed them down. They did not. I don't, I don't know. I, I can't. You, know, you be the judge. All right. You, you tell me. Was that the game or was that intentional? Moving on to our next opponent. That's why I left it in there, okay? Usually I would delete those out, but that one specifically pissed me off. All right, next battle, we're met with the Skarmory here, and we're going to go ahead and go for Stone Edge. And eh, Quagsire is so good. All right, in this cup, I, I love using it. Uh, I really enjoy it. Of course, I like to go with the Stone Edge and Earthquake. I mean, you can go with Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb? Sludge Wave. I think I had Sludge Bomb. Uh, so, all right, so what's going on on here? We've gotten a shield out of them. Typhlosion's on the team, so we need to kind of think about this. We don't want to use a shield. We're going to go ahead and farm down. They're going to throw, so we'll, we'll shield this up, and then we're going to come out of this with a bunch of energy, right? All right, let's see what happens here. Taking them out. Great. What are you going to come in here with? Typhlosion, Shadow hits everything hard. Pseudo Wudo. All right, this is a very interesting battle, so we just instantaneously throw Blast Burn. Swap into Celebi, what you got in the back, it's a Steelix. All right, Magic Leaf is actually still going to be doing okay damage. And I didn't get the debuff one time with Psychic. This is all these sets. It was ridiculous. But hey, it is what it is. So we're continuing on here. And obviously Crunch is going to take us out. So I think we're going to go ahead and just let it go. Because Typhlosion, it has to pull off everything right now. All right, so shield this up. We need to get to two Blast Burns or we lose. Simple as that. All right, we need to get one more incinerate and not over tap. Done. Let's go. All right, blast burn one, and then we have to throw the next one instantly, and we win. That was I couldn't believe it. <laughs> that was so satisfying. Thank you, Shadow Typhlosion, taking the win there. Moving on to our next opponent, folks. What are we going to be seeing here? It's going to be a oh, this is a very uh, sweaty battle. So Gramble Shadow doing an extreme amount of damage here, and this is not good. Got the fire in the back to resist charm. You already know. And, yeah, I'm thinking, well, how are we going to do this? I'm like, oh, we'll just bring a Typhlosion. But watch how much Charm does. Crazy amounts of damage. Unbelievable. So I'm just thinking, okay. All right, they swapped. All right, at least they, okay. There's our opportunity to strike. Bring it in Celebi after they bring in their Hitmon top. This is great. Stone Age is still going to hurt. But we do resist the counter. So hey, it's going for us there. It looks like they were on 
their way to counter us down, which would have not been good. So we're going to go ahead and throw Psychic and just take it out before that happens. Typhlosion in the back is going to have to pull off some Blast Burn magic yet again. But this charm thing is kind of really bad. We win it with a little HP. I'm like, there has to be something weak to fire in the back or we lose. It's a Steelix. We have two Blast Burns. Same situation. There goes one. Can we one shot the Steelix, folks? Let's see what happens here. You already know. And we one shot the Steelix with our Typhlosion at the end. Let's get it. And moving right on to our next opponent, what are we going to see here? An Umbreon. Okay, so we're just going to keep going Earthquake. Um, I think for this, huh? my initial thought was I just want to just keep Earthquaking and I'm not going to shield up a thing. I'm going to go in here with Typhlosion and farm up. But I do believe the strategy all switched up here on me. Oh, wait, was it this one? I keep on mixing them up, folks. Look, it's been a long day. You could imagine, right? <laughs> We've all had a long day if we play this event. My gosh. They need to they need to spread it out it's that's not good you know like too much to do in too little time too rushy it's not enjoyable i appreciate all the stuff that they gave us to do but i feel like it just needs to be spread out for a longer time anyway uh in comes the zoom roll so this is good we're just going freaking earthquake crazy huh with this quag it's just like what <laughs> <laughs> Earthquake and everything. All right, so bring it to the Selvi. Love it. All right, we already know we can take that. Still two shield in it. Huh. Getting a little brave. I think we shield this one up so we can win the swap for whatever reason. Maybe thinking there's something weak to Psychic or something like that. So Skarmory, lovely. And it's a Shadow, though, so they let this go. <laughs> and little did they know we have a Shadow Typhlosion in the back, so those shields will do you little. And we're just going to take them out in a couple incinerates here. Shielding up the sky attack, and we take the win. Use two shields. They didn't use any, but hey, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Next battle, we're met with another Umbreon, and I think we're just going to go ahead and do that Earthquake thing again. <laughs> Seems to work out. This thing is just a beast. I mean, I love it. Uh, the stat product for mine is actually pretty good, and it really hasn't let me down. Obviously, got to look out for grass because you're basically like a Swampert out here. But fun thing is, if you're going up against a Jump Luff, at least you have Stone Edge. And it does also have the Poison move, so you can put that on it, and it also is gonna be super effective to those Grass types. So a little something to note. I do believe Celebi is gonna have a bit of a challenge on that end as well, while we do go up against one of those in that situation. All right, so uh, what's going on? Okay, we shield this up just because like, you know what? If we can come out of this with energy, and win the swap, why not? They bring in their own quag, and this couldn't be more perfect because what's going to happen? You already know we're going to be bringing in the Celebi. So we're not going to go anywhere. We're just going to let them do their thing. They probably got to Stone Edge here, right? And Sludge Bomb. Okay, so Sludge Bomb. All right, that's what it learns, not Sludge Wave. I think I said Sludge Bomb. Anyways, they swap into Typhlosion. Oh, boy. We bring in our own Typhlosion. All right, we got to sneak in that quick move. That was That's what it was all about. Okay, all right. That old sneak move thing, and they even said that it's part of the mechanics. Like, oh my gosh. It's like, they just want to double down, don't they? Huh? <laughs> all right. Calling it all, calling out their, like, brokenness before, like, world. So it's like, well, that's actually a feature. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Because they took it away. They bring it back. They took it away. They bring it back. That's the only reason why I'm talking about it like that. They even said, it's like, eh, trying to fix it. It's like, well, why'd you say you're trying to fix it before if it was a part of a feature? Yeah, exactly. Contradict yourself every time, Niantic. Anyways, next battle. Met with a Tyranitar, another one of these. And they're swapping into a Gramble. We're going to go ahead and bring in Typhlosion. And we already know this is not even a comfortable situation to be in. Because that charm, that, that charm, <laughs> that charm damage is ridiculous. So we just snuck one through. The damage didn't register. So what we're going to do is go ahead and shield up. And down they go. Beautiful. Got to love it. All right. And we got a blast burn. All right. All right. If they want to make the sneak through a permanent thing, then all right, that's what you got to deal with. So we're going to see the jump love farming us up. That's not too good. Bringing in this uh, quaggy here. You're like, whoa, how the heck are you going to... You know, you got me. All right. Let's, let's see how I try to pull this one off, right? <laughs> so go for the stone edge here. Like I said, that stone is actually going to be nice. It's, uh, Shadow too, so looking okay. Uh, but yeah, we don't have any more shields, so down we go. And we have Magical Leaf, which is massively resisted. So how? They bring a Tyranitar. Yeah, it's not. This is not happening. But might as well just give it a shot. And good game to our opponent. Even with a bad lead, they were still able to pull that one off. Good game. Now, 
I didn't say this in the beginning, but with the one move Celebi, it's giving us a pretty big handicap and almost having a good lead is not going to necessarily be, you know, securing a battle. You know, it never really does secure a battle, but it's making it a lot. It's, it's increasing your chances to win exponentially. All right. And then taking off a move off of Celebi, yeah, it could be better, right? So they're swapping as we do throw Earthquake. What was that that they bring in there? A zoom? Oh, okay, okay. I'm uh, going to go ahead and bring in the... Uh, I wanted to snipe him. See, it just doesn't do enough damage or my IVs aren't good enough. You saw what I had is a 10-15-15 and it's not good. It's just... Yeah, I don't care, whatever. So Pillow Swine's getting wrecked by Magical Leaf. There you go. But the thing gets wrecked by everything, so don't try to give Magical Leaf too much credit there. Okay, so they got a ton of energy with that powder snow. How's this going to work here? Okay, going to bring that in so we can have them use up that energy and take them out before they can get off their next charge move. And it's an Umbreon in the back. We got two shields. We should be able to pull this off here. Let's see what we got going on. Going for the first blast burn. Now, I, eh, I realized at this point I didn't need to go for this next blast burn. It's all about just quick moves, I think. Well, I take that back. Now I remember this battle. Never mind. I take that back. So we go for that other one here, and I knew they were going to swap, but we, we don't even have it yet ready yet. I think they're you know waiting for us to get there. They're counting, and yeah, they that would have been the perfect timing. So yeah, nice call, but I already knew it, so we're just going to go ahead and go for it now, and we take the win. Let's go, Typhlosion Shadow. Very nice. Love it. We're just experimenting, having fun. Tested out some other teams. Dropped ELO. Don't really give a damn. We're just going for it. Have a good lead up against a shiny Mag Cargo. They're swapping into a Hitmon top. And this time I learned my lesson. And we're going to shield this Stone Edge up. Does way too much. Don't care. We're going to win this matchup here. You know, technically if they shield this up, they'll beat us to a Stone Edge. So it would almost have to be like a double shield situation. Because it would take us out at that point. So it would be a, a commitment there. Good thing they just let it go. Because they want to come back in here with Mag Cargo and farm us up. But this is the nice thing about having Psychic is, well, it's you know going to do some good damage to Mag Cargo. And uh, down we go. We got that shield out of them. Bringing in Quagsire. Even if they go overheat, it's not. Yeah, that's it. This is the last battle, so make sure you do give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And turn notifications on so you don't miss any of my videos. And check out uh, some of my older videos as well. My past couple of ones. So uh, another one of these Typhlosion double blast burn buildups. And then just incinerate everything right just completely take them all out <laughs> all right so i was trying to think of a word but i'm just i wanted to drink some coffee but it's like this is way too late or some mocha tea or kind of like green tea stuff with the caffeine in it warm it up with milk anyways looking good they are not able to take us out get into the earthquake and wow that was some good stuff thank you for watching trainers and i'll be catching you all on my next video Take care.